hear a bit about the importance of uh, achieving oneness with the divine experience of oneness of the inner and outer environments, the full environments. And uh, here I'm going to use older and more elementalistic language in order to get across the ideas with a bit more ease. And this way you have it easier to combine things as you study and practice. Non-elementalistic, so to say. The technologies of Unify the material and higher order energies have the potential of providing you with an access to infinite powers. And when I say infinite, I mean this as a process, which means no matter what level of power you achieve, there will always be more beyond. And that process will be faster with such a universal consciousness. And the potential of infinite power requires from the individual an adjustment and a training which is commensurate to this potential that the individual wants to achieve. Which means that this training compares very well to a training in advanced sciences. The psychic and spiritual dimensions are part of new technologies as we have elaborated previously. Therefore, it became extremely important that the training and the preparation for handling new technologies come from within the individual and such training should and will ensure rapid and safe advancement. I have to say that many of the so-called mystery schools and new age groups and so on are bound with methods to prepare the individual. Of all of these methods, there seems to be only one that we can consider to be a solid basis for rapid spiritual advancement and safe psychic development plus access to the creative realms of the universe. And this method is what I'm teaching you now, development of consciousness, of being one with your environments, with yourself, with the divine. Let me call it oneness with the divine. Some call it cosmic consciousness. We know that there are many names exist for this type of practice and achievement. Christ Consciousness is another term which is, I think, quite valuable. Higher Self and so on. Of course, a lot of people call the Higher Self as unreachable unless you give up everything. You know, that's... Uh, I, I, I mean to, I, I mean to uh, quote the Buddha here when he uh, had his illumination. Uh, he thought, well, I got it now and... Uh, and uh, I just get into nirvana right away and, and so on. And then uh, uh, deity came to him, or internal, whatever you call it, and said the world certainly will perish if the Buddha didn't go out and teach. And it didn't mean the world around. It meant Buddha's own world. So, you know, <laughs> of course, the way it's, it's taught, it means that the world would go under, and uh, the world would have just gone on as nicely as it could, or as, as unnicely as it could, without the Buddha. And yet the Buddha was a very nice uh, impact, uh, impact effect, which I highly like. According to popular belief, oneness is a very 
long term goal. You need to train a lot, you need to spend a lot of money to lodges which are totally secret, they only have it, and so on. You know, of course, I said it already, some people have certain their best of interest in spreading a lot of such popular BS beliefs. And uh, among them in the forefront are the bosses of mystery schools whose main concern is in keeping a lot of po paying students or a lot of worshippers going. And contrary to the generally accepted popular belief, oneness should be a basis of metaphysical advancement and not its long-term goal. Get it? Furthermore, it can be achieved in a relatively short period of time. You know, how long did it take the Buddha under the tree? You know, as is the case with many other metaphysical practices, even Jesus took 40 days, which is a bit long, so uh, if it's correct. It is so easy that it takes some people decades to learn it. It's many other practices, and that's also part of uh, people misleading for their own profit. And uh, also, as a result of that ideology, most people think that things need to be complicated to be effective. So to achieve this type of consciousness in a relatively short period of time, um, all it takes is the right advice and the right surrounding, preferably with others who have the same goal in mind, in a short time. Uh, no. What I'm saying here is not liked by a lot of people, even considered blasphemous, erratic, whatever. And this course will help you to seek out or generate the right inner and outer environments, surroundings, as well as the necessary know-how to achieve exactly this important experience or state of mind, of oneness. Experience will teach you that achievement of oneness, I call it just oneness right now, is quite an easy task. And it's experience, not the words. Just do the things, and as you do them, you gain that experience right away. I don't need to preach anything where you have to have faith in and you get it in a few thousand years. Practice with persons who have achieved oneness has many benefits if you work together with those people who did it already. Besides the fact that these people are very good teachers for you, they can also project divine energies to you so that you will achieve your goal much easier. As a, perhaps in a matter of a few hours of practice without needing to be an asket for seven years before. And uh, I'm talking about the Buddha, and I pretty much like what I hear heard about him anyway. Uh, once you have achieved oneness, you can project energies and help others in the same way others have helped you. Such practice will, will cause you to be increasingly rooted in oneness with the divine so that you can be a solid basis builder for all of your further actions for overall success and an advancement into the many fascinating aspects of what we call spiritual technology or technical spirituality. Once you will have become aware of your own divine nature, many things naturally will turn out to be a lot easier than they may have looked previously.